Hey guys, in today's video, I want to talk about the iOS 18.2.1 update. It's almost 24 hours that the update is out. And I'm using this update since in this video, I'm going to share the Geekbun score that is insane. Along with that, I will also talk about the battery life after using it for 24 hours hours well it's been almost 24 hours that i was 18.2.1 is out now this update aims to fix different bugs as it says it's an important bug fixes the main purpose of this update is to fix different sort of bugs related to battery life of bugs in photos app where there is a gray line and more stuff now before starting anything if i go to the photos app over here i don't being very honest don't see any sort of gray line over here might be that is fixed i'm not sure if you are able to see over here i guess that is fixed but i'm not here i'm not able to see that for now so there is a chance that that line might be fixed in this update now many people were talking about that there is a connectivity problem going on on 18.2 so if that is also fixed over here, so that you go to the journal over here and go to the about section and in the model firmware, you can see if the the there is a modem update or not. Well, I didn't get any sort of modem update. So I'm not sure if the uh, call dropping is fixed or not. Um, the connectivity issue issues are fixed or not because I am not having any sort of connectivity issues. But definitely the modem update is coming with the 18.3. So that could be a thing also want to talk about if the battery draining is fixed over here so if i go to the settings and go to the battery draining, let the battery stats load over here now over here yesterday i almost i installed the update and you can see at this time i'm not using my device at all and at this time my device was idle i was sleeping for sure of course but still there is a slight draining over here so yeah there is a bit of draining going on but it's just 24 hours i will test this a version more and i will share that if the draining is fixed or not because i was always take a couple of days to get stable now let's talk about a bit about the battery life so i used it for 24 hours and this is just a one day that the um, version is out so this is the day as you can see i consumed 100 percent of my battery life over here and get a screen on time of almost four hours on iphone 10s now i know this is an old device but you can get the idea that if this much old device is getting four hours of screen on time this means your phone must be get, getting a good one and this also sh um, showcases that the battery life is a good over here the battery life is definitely improved over here I use like Instagram a lot. I use some other applications. As you can see, um, Instagram is... I didn't use Instagram a lot. Actually, I used YouTube a lot. So yeah, there are some other applications that I use. No, it's just a first day. So for the first day, it's a decent battery life. No, what is shocking is definitely the geek best scores the scores are really good i will definitely share the cpu benchmark and the gpu benchmark over here if i go to the cpu benchmark cpu history over here now when i install the update over here as you can see this 18.2.1 as uh, this you can see i got this scores up uh, 30 right now single core 3023 or a multi-core if i compare with the average iphone 10s it is higher if i compare the multi-core it is higher now this means no matter what iphone you are using you must be getting higher score than the average one and this is like right after installing the update now after using the update for a couple of hours i ran the test again and this type as you can see again 18 by 2.1 i got really good scores 1398 on a single code 3091 on a multi-core as you can see again highest the 3091 on a multi-core is the highest score i ever achieved on this device which means the performance is improved a lot with the 18.21 there is no doubt about that now if i go from here back and back to the gpu benchmark surprise surprise this is the score when i ran the gpu benchmark for the first time right after installing the app um ios and i got like 8906 score which is like 800 points higher than the average one which is decent which is good 
and ran the score after like using 18.2.1 for a couple of hours as you can see it is 18.2.1 i got the highest gpu metal score ever on this device no matter what i was you are i want no matter what iphone you are using you must be getting really good scores so this showcases i know i am using an old iphone but this showcases the scores are really good this is like way higher than the average one so this means that ios 18.2.1 is a way 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 stable update then it seems really really good so far things are really good again it's just a 24 hours i will test this version more and share the experience more well this is all from this video i will catch you in my next video until then take care peace out